Hello and welcome back. So on to the third part now of Max's experience of learning to drive. And we're going to be doing right turns now. So we finished last time with your left turns. Yeah. Pretty simple left turns. Yeah, pretty basic. Right turns aren't so simple. They're a little bit more technical. So let's um, test Max's trivia now and ask him some few a few questions. Go for it. <laughs> <Are you ready? laughs> All right, so uh, turning right. Okay. Have you got any knowledge of how you'd position, what you're looking for when you're turning right, how you I go about it? I would just imagine it would be the exact same as turning left. Okay, yeah, good. Obviously a different direction. Obviously, you know, like you go left, but like you do the mm -hmm. same concept, leaning into the turn. Yeah. Um, and then just watching for pedestrian, mm -hmm. cyclist, and other oncoming cars. There you go, good. So that is the huge difference. So yeah, it's a different direction, not that much in direction, but what you've added is, because you're going right, you're actually crossing traffic. So yeah. you mentioned that, pedestrian, cyclist, motorbikes, whatever else as well. So you've got to cross that, yeah. okay? So this is where it gets a little bit more technical. Also the positioning. So we're yeah. going to go into it. I'm going to get you to now drive, and then we're going to have a look at where Max positions. And if Max needs any tips or anything on top of what he's naturally doing, we'll add that, okay? okay. I will go a little bit more in depth with the knowledge and the positioning of right turns. But for okay. now, let's just get you going, get you started, and then we'll see if it's necessary to add any information on top. Smashing, let's yeah. do it. Let's All right, it. so Max, you've done your moving away and stopping. Yes. You know what is needed. Okay. So if you wouldn't mind doing some self-commentary about what it is that you're actually doing with your feet, your hands, where you're looking okay. as you move away, that'd no be brilliant for anybody that's watching and learning to drive. Smashing, okay. Yeah. Let's so go it's, for it. it's all up to you now. You're in full control of the vehicle. Okay. So if you have any questions, please ask. Otherwise, take your time. And when you're ready, drive on. When we reach the end of the road, we'll be turning right and we'll kind of have a look at what you do naturally, but I okay. might add some tips on top. Okay, cool. Okay, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Drive on. Right, so first of all, I want to get myself nice and comfortable. Make sure that the, the steering wheel is in a good position for myself. Make sure I can use my, my pedals without like, stressing myself out. Yes, yeah, so you've got a good so seat position. So get comfortable, position. which is the most important thing. Yeah, it's very important. Um, and then once I feel like I'm ready for that, I can start with a bit of my observations. So look left. Excellent. So least dangerous being look pedestrians. Right. Excellent. And then I always double check just to be safe. Very good. Check my mirrors. And if I think I'm ready, I'm going to put it into drive. Mm -hmm. So that's the prepare. Good. Normally do that first, but you can do it after observing. Okay. It just means that you have to re-observe because the oh, gap okay, yeah, between the actual putting it in gear and moving might only be a few seconds, but it's enough that another vehicle might pass. So okay. you've not done anything wrong. But, but maybe just prioritise do... putting that into the drive so it means when I'm ready, I can just go. Yes. And so set got... up my observations again. Exactly. Yeah, so you got less work. On that note, I'm going to do my observations again. Yes. <laughs> well done. So good. Looking down there. Fantastic. Oh, it does come in. Uh, I feel confident enough to be going. Lovely. So very nice adding your indicator there for moving off because it's helpful for everybody that may see you. So, well yeah. done. Smashing. So, the 20 is in here, so I'm not going to go too Very fast. Very good. Now, you'll know you're coming to the end of a road because the lines in the center start. Can okay. you see them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's normally five in total. So, one, two, three, four, five, end of road, turn right. So, I've just signaled where I'm going to be going to let everybody know, even though there's nobody behind me. Stop the braking. And then... Nice repositioning here. After you pass the parked car, you've done your best to try and come back onto your half of the center mm -hmm. line. And you're very nice and close to the center line, which is good position for turning right. Yeah, it's just in case anybody else is turning in, so you've got to make sure they've got enough space as well. Excellent. So, well done. I'm going to nudge a little bit forward because I can't really see because of that tree. Mm. Keep my foot on the brake, make sure we're okay. Very good. So this is the peep and creep that we were doing on yeah. the last episode. So I just need to be careful now because I've got two cars in front of me, a car on the right. Mm -hmm. So I've now got to maneuver the car into mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A, good, a good turn. Mm -hmm. So you had to start steering now, which is necessary because of all the parked cars like yeah. you mentioned. So you you just cover the brake just in case you get a bit too heavy. Very good comment there, Max. Well done. 
because you've got less space, you want to be covering the brake, less yeah. speed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember, we're learning how to drive, not how to race. That's very important. Yeah, right. I'm so, so glad I see you said that. Coming towards him, so I'm going to let him through. Very good. Well done. Straighten out. You are very welcome, lady. Thank you for the thank you. I appreciate that. And I should be here. Uh, I'm just taking my time here because there's lots of parked cars around me right now, which I'm pretty sure you guys will see in the video at some point. Mm, so that's less space, less speed again. Yeah. That is tip number one of learning to drive. It's so important. This is Daniel Levy coming on. Yes, he is. What a gent. Good. So we had a few meeting situations on the last video. You're getting a lot more now with the oncoming traffic and the narrow road. So. Well done, you're analyzing what the oncoming traffic's doing. Okay, Max, we're gonna go around the block to where we started. So another right turn, please. So I've indicated because I've got a few cars behind me. Obviously, you should good. be indicating anyways. Very good, yes, always indicate. Yeah, it's helpful, so you, you can't cause any danger by showing a signal. Right, so I feel like I'm good to go, so I'm mm. going to go. Well done with your positioning again. You have started to turn where you turned last time, which is straight away. Yeah. Did you have any parked cars opposite you at this junction when you came out? No. No. So that way you can go out to the center of the road. Okay, and then start turning. Then start turning. Then it's less likely for you to go into the oncoming traffic. Okay. And you'll position more over to your half when you join the new road, which okay. is obviously safer. Good. So you've got um, a white van here with its door open. Good adjustment in speed. Well done. Oops. Sorry, mate. And now, Max, you'll have road markings here for your next right turn. So try to follow the road markings and turn right. Okay, so bus has stopped to let you through. Very good. And then just pull up on the left here for me, please. And give yourself plenty of space from the next vehicle so we can move up after. Remember how to put the car into park? I do. Well done. So That's I'm just going to do some years. commentary of okay. what you've done. Okay. And I'm going to do it from the most recent around, if my memory serves me. Okay. So, most recent, pulling over and stopping here on the left. Excellent signal. Well done. Thank you. Very important to show a signal that you're pulling over to stop. So if there's any following vehicles or any hazards that can see you mm -hmm. they know what you're doing okay the opposite side of that is if we don't signal and there are people that can see us and we pull over to stop you could potentially fail your driving test that's how important that signal is so well done okay. must always signal and move off and you do always signal when you move away for the same reasons yeah, well done course. okay uh you had the bus yes so before you pulled over to stop here to do a right turn you had the bus Talk to me about the bus. What did you see happening? How did so, you react? So as I was coming up um, street, mm -hmm. um, I got asked to go t take a right, which mm -hmm. was, I think, I don't know what the name of the, the markings on the road will be, but like it's... We call that a box junction. So I mm -hmm. came up to a box junction, mm -hmm. indicated to go right, I positioned the car. Um, I didn't expect the, the bus to let me go. Okay. But then he obviously indicated right. You can go, mm -hmm. take your time. Mm -hmm. No rush. You didn't rush me, which I felt a little bit more confident about doing it because you just don't know how drivers are going to react these days. So, That's so correct. Yes. Um, the the guy let me go. Then yourself, you asked me to take a left and pull in. And I did. Well so done. it was. I feel confident enough to do it. All. It's just that the question is, will I be feel confident enough to do it with a stranger in the car? And by myself. <laughs> yeah, by yourself will be the real test. So after passing your driving test and then you'd go to drive by yourself for the first time, can be a little bit uh, anxious, anxiety can set in, um, but it's all part of learning. Okay. So very good with the bus. Um, now the bus kind of did something to make it aware of our presence as it stopped, which kind of made me say to you the bus is letting you through do you know what exactly it did for me to sort of pick up on that information and say to you that the bus is stopping and letting you go um you might have missed it so i'm just asking uh, just in case you did catch those headlights yes well done so the car flashed its lights 
officially that the reason is to make him aware of your presence. Mm -hmm. Now, why did he stop and let you turn? Why didn't he try to just turn around you? Because he was trying to turn right as well. Maybe because he's got quite a big vehicle. Very and he, good. And he's going to have to take a yeah. lot more time to manoeuvre yeah. this turn or whatever mm -hmm. he may be doing. So he thought, all right, cool. Instead of holding up all the traffic, he'll let me go and then he'll continue with his route. Yes, good. So the roads in the UK are not wide. Sometimes there's Still junctions. Like big vehicles can't turn because there's another vehicle there. That's the yeah. situation we had. We go, he goes. Yeah. Sometimes we're turning into a road. There's a big vehicle coming out of the road. We can't get in. So you're doing a right turn into a narrow road. And there's a lorry coming out the road. Just let him, let him go. Exactly. Just so let him go. It's yeah. like what the bus did for you. Yeah. The bus couldn't turn, so it had to kind of let you yeah. go. Sometimes you'll have to turn, but you can't yeah. for whatever reason. So the point I'm trying to make is that sometimes you'll have a set routine, which I'm about to give Max for right turns, because there's one part of the routine which you're going to add now. Okay. You're doing the whole routine perfect, but we're going to add something. I'll come to that in a sec. Uh, but sometimes this routine, you can't follow it all the time because okay. the situation changes. A large vehicle, person in the road, whatever. Okay. Yeah? yeah. So you've got to act on that information. It's a huge part of the driving test. So there's no real clear yes and no which makes it very difficult to teach people to drive because right. your experience will help you because you'll see lots of situations. Yeah. You'll be able to act on that information and make a more informed decision because you've seen it before. Yeah. You have experience, etc. Okay, so the routine now, we don't need to talk so much about the other junctions before, okay? okay. Uh, but this will cover what exactly was missing from those junctions. Okay. So you have an excellent strategy, which is the, do you remember the routine? M. S P S L stands for mirrors. Right. <laughs> Signal. <laughs> okay. Position. Yep. Excellent. So signal, good. Position, good. Speed, good. Look, good. So you had a few quite closed junctions, yeah. parked cars, couldn't see, did your peep and creep like you did last time. Yeah. Okay. Three left turns, doing four right turns. Now, what part of the M S P S L was it that we missed out? There's only one part. So you got the M S P S L mirrors. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oh, I don't know. Check my mirrors. Good uh... positioning, good speed, running speed, jogging speed, walking speed, stop if you need to stop at the junction because it's closed. Um, mirror signal positions, position nice on the center line. Yeah. Okay, so it must, so it must be the mirrors then. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit more about that positioning, but more importantly, we're going to add your mirrors. Okay. So we're going to go around again now. Right. I'll refer to your positioning a bit more as you do your junctions and your turns, but I want to see you add your mirror checks before signaling. This routine is so important, the fundamentals. So yes, I'm talking a lot about this, but the reason why I'm talking a lot about this is that you understand how important this is. Too many people fail their driving tests at junctions. It's the number one reason for like 10 years in a row. You've probably heard me say this before, and I will not stop saying it. People fail the test. They get to a junction. They're either too fast. They forget to signal. They don't look enough. Okay? Okay. All right, Max. So we're going to drive on now. What two mirrors will you check before a right signal? My back mirror, left-hand mirror. Can't check all the mirrors. If you'd like to. You must check at least two. Or the, the safe option, not just to be just to check all mirrors, just to be safe. If you'd like to, that's absolutely fine. I'd imagine fine. if it would be the back mirror and the right mirror because I'm turning onto the street. Correct. Well done. The back mirror, you'll see a motorbike if it's behind mm -hmm. you. The right mirror, you'll see the motorbike when it comes from behind yeah. onto the right side. So if you have a dangerous driver, you'll know, or a rider, you'll know before actually committing to the turn. Now, we're talking that's about change of direction. So what I really need to be talking about is before signaling. So you'll know that the motorbike's passing you. You might hold off from the signal so that the motorbike has more chance to just go past yeah. you because if we signal, we might see that or she, and they might actually slow down, which will cause more of a nuisance yeah. for you for turning 
and right. More like an so, awkward moment. Yeah, a lot of people ask, why do I check my mirrors before signaling? There's your case in point. Okay? okay. Well, I think that's enough talking. If you have any questions, please ask. Always focus on adding your mirror checks to your routine of MSPSL and drive on when you're ready, please. Smashing. Please, no smashing, Max. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm trying to remember what else. Actually, you told me to. POM. So you got prepare. Right, so that should be in drive. Perfect, well done. Okay. So this is the routine for moving off. Observations, which Max is doing now. So we've done the P, prepare, O, observe. And I am good to go. Excellent bonus points there for your signal. And then the last part is move, which we don't really need to remember because we'll do it without even remembering it. At the end of the road, turn right. Very nice. Good mirror checks. Well done, Max. Excellent. Good position. Speed. Well done. And look. Excellent. So you've got your peep and creep. You've got that tree blocking your view on the left. You've crept out. So that extends your field of view. Now you can see and you know it's safe to complete your turn. You've got less space in this turn due to parked cars, which means you have to turn earlier. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll go out and so crash. you've got to kind of like start getting your steering before you actually go. But yes, because okay. you've got hazards around you, you yeah. have to do that early. Of now, course. remember when we go out to the main road, which will be your next right turn, there aren't any hazards. It's a very wide yeah, so, road. Okay. So your position will be, or your point of turn will be, when you reach the center of the road. Okay, cool. So we must, once your shoulder has passed these parked vehicles... Slow down, reposition if necessary so that the right side of the vehicle is on the center line. That's it, so we're straighter on the yes. center line. And now, good, try and keep the car straight until you reach the center of the road. So when you see the center lines disappear out your windscreen, yeah, now start turning. good. And can you see the difference? Yeah, because you're not really obstructing much. Yeah. Because these parked vehicles, if we turned early and went diagonally across the oncoming yeah. traffic, we wouldn't see them coming and we'd get too close. More okay. likely to have an incident. It's dangerous. That's what we don't want people. Correct. Yeah. So if we go out, it will allow you to see this traffic better, keep further away from oncoming traffic, safer, and then do our turn. So it looks like we've covered the fundamentals now. Um, Come on, mate. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remain quiet now. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll have your road markings. Well done for stopping here. Yeah, because you had a blockage in the road. So you've done the safe thing. Wait, they've cleared the way. So I'm going to be quiet now. I'd like to talk through what you're going to do here with your so routine. So am I taking the right, yeah? Yes, please. Next road on the right. Okay, so observation. So I'm now going to be turning, oh, I don't know what's going on here. So, I don't know what she's doing here. So you see your position? Yeah, it's just because she's here. And pull up on the left, please, in a safe place. So that's one mirror. Remember, always pair your mirrors. Excellent, well done, Max. Very good. And then put the car into park and relax. So just like you would do with your, it's the indicator war now. So uh, just like you're doing with your right signal, you're checking your interior mirror, exterior right mirror mm -hmm. for right signal. When we check our, uh, when we signal left, we check our yeah. interior mirror. Right. See so before you guys see what's just happened there. Right. That lady should never have parked the way she did. That's all I'm saying. Who's what lady? What are we the, talking the, about? The Range Rover in front. So see, when I was turning yeah. back, so I couldn't get into my mm -hmm. my turning my box mm -hmm. um, and to turn in because I was getting case I might go a bit too close and hit a car and then wouldn't leave me enough space to turn. Mm -hmm. So I've had to kind of stop on the, the left hand side of the road. Yes, good. I'm so glad that you're aware of where your car was positioned. Well yeah, done. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. so I just. I knew I had to be in the right, like in that, mm -hmm. that little box. Mm -hmm. But the way that lady's come out so quickly mm -hmm. and stopped, like, kind of blocking my mm -hmm. my turning point. Mm -hmm. So I've kind of had to, like, hold back. Mm -hmm. And then she finally let me go. Mm -hmm. So I had enough space to maneuver, indicate, make sure I'm not stressed, make sure nobody's getting harmed. So mm -hmm. 
adding that driver. Now, the <laughs> way that you're able to take in all that information and act on it, mm -hmm. remember I said about acting on information, yeah. there's no yes and no answers, it's what, what you can see is happening, mm -hmm. it's because of your speed. So remember the mirror signal position speed look mm -hmm. for every junction, your speed was so good and safe, slow, yeah. that you're able to take in that information and act. Yeah. If, and the speed is really the foundations to all junctions, especially roundabouts. Yeah. If people are having trouble with roundabouts, I'll put one million pound on it. It's because they're coming in too quick to the junction. Okay. All hell breaks loose afterwards. Because it's too much for the brain to compute in yeah. such a short period of time, it melts down. Okay. But as soon as people start slowing down to a jogging speed, to a walking speed, you know, before they reach the junction, everything just flows. Yeah. Oh, well, so this is only like my, my second second lesson. And I'm feeling confident enough pulling up to the corners and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's just nice. Like slow and steady. Like you don't have to be a boy racer as soon as you yeah. pass your test. You know, it, it's like it really it's, helps. It's important that you really respect the rules of the road, mm -hmm. which Scott has dug into my head very well. Well, my my um, what do you call it? Uh, comparison, if you like, is did we all when we were born just sort of jump up, strap on some running shoes, and go for a little hundred meter sprint down the road? <laughs> Probably tried, but probably <laughs> failed miserably. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you see what I'm saying? You crawl, you walk, you fall down, you jog, you run, yeah. you get there. Some people try to just learn driving by going 100 miles an hour yeah. everywhere they're going, and they get very frustrated. Must bring that speed down, see what's happening, act on it. You'll naturally get faster. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, your position, yes, you did go too far to the left. Yes, you had lots of... Um, people there on your right worrying you so if you're going to be moving away from something that's worrying you how do you know if it's safe to move away so Check you, your mirrors, yes your observations so really everything you're doing is really good just add to it mm -hmm. with little mirror checks so the mirror checks we're talking about now offer change of direction okay you mentioned the ones before signaling for your routine for junctions now we're looking at the mirror checks to change of direction. Okay. So you go around a parked car, check your mirrors, go out, yeah. go around, you come back in, check your mirrors, come back in. That's what I want you to add this time as we go around one more. And okay. then we're going to go and have a look at roundabouts after this. That would be the next topic. So uh, Max has done fantastic. We're going to give him a little run around and join us for the next part, which will be roundabouts. roundabouts. Ooh, ooh, ah!